What's up, everybody? His vicious here, and right as I was about to go to sleep, it looks like they decided to publish this uh, video here. We'll watch the full minute and not say anything, then we'll go over everything. All right? How does that sound? <laughs> All right. So, um, this isn't exactly like when I make my videos about um, the strive style breakdowns. Oh my goodness, I need to do another strive style breakdown. I just noticed the last one I did was in October. I did nothing in November. Wow. So that, that I need to remedy that soon. But I got finals, so not too soon. Anyway, so yeah, we got Battle Mage here. Um, and they're showing us a lot more now, uh, which is great. Um, they're, they haven't shown Battle Mage in a fight or anything just yet, and that's fine. Um, they're just talking about what Battle Mage is about. Uh, kind of like a Strata style breakdown, except without breaking down anything. Battle Mage is a brains and brawn character, as she is proficient with both magical and close, close quarters combat. Let's see. I suspect that's a 5B. I'm just doing a little guessing. 5B, 2B. Yo, this right here. Okay. So, she... It looks like she has the chaser, right? So, she sacrificed the chaser to do this MP skill. I'm assuming that's like a 6M. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that's a 6M. And that keeps the enemies it like stationary in the air for some time. Look at that. That's great. And you just keep making chasers as you do normals. Looks like you don't get chasers from doing S attacks though. Like that. It knocks you down to the ground. She does her jumping M. Then bam! Narrowly. I wonder if that picks you up off of the ground. What do you guys think? Do you think that's an OTG? Do you think it'll be an OTG in the future? And as you can see here, so the chasers, like they had mentioned, I think it was like on a tweet or something, the chasers are supposed to give a battle mage buff, right? Or buffs. So it looks like as battle mage use this ability, Battle Mage got like a increase in speed and an increase in attack damage, but didn't get another buff after that. So I guess it's just like the standard buff, unless there's more buffs depending on the combination of chasers that you have. Okay. Oh, well, hold on a second. They actually tell us what she's doing. So yeah, I was right. That's 5B, 2B, uh, Falling Petal Palm. So it's just 5S, and this is 4M. 4M is the move that uh, makes the opponent stay in the air. What does it say? We chose Battle Mage DNA dual character due to this intriguing fighting style. All right. Crouching B again, like Ghost Blade, except this 
looks like a more reliable crouching B. Um, and what is this? Blue Sky B. So that's the 2S. That's jumping S. And at the end is 6M. Okay, so that's 6M. And this is AA. That's her AA combo. Not bad. You gotta press that repeatedly for multiple strikes. That's interesting. By consuming chasers, you generate, um, you can gain enhanced effects, adding stra strategic depth to gameplay. Sorry, the line was through it. I'm so tired too. So you can just make those. And you can make up to three, it looks like, and you just send them out, and they can just interrupt the opponent. Okay. Was that? That was the DP. So the DP is what? It's just a slam, so it's definitely an attack. It's not a reversal. Good. Was that a different... Hold on a second, dog. Y'all see what I'm talking about, right? It looks like she has two different... Two S's, right? Okay, there's one with that animation. And it's another animation. I don't know what the... So it could be two S, and there could be like a different two S? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's just a slightly different animation. Okay. So that's pretty much all that they're showing right now on Battle Mage. Battle Mage is intriguing. Uh, I said on the previous video, like, hey, this isn't exactly the playstyle I wanted for her because this transformation could have been super dope mid-combat. Um, and they could have definitely worked that in. But, you know, she's interesting. I can't wait to see how she is, like, when she releases on the 18th. I want to see, like, what the buffs do. Are there different buffs? Um, are there different ways to spend the buffs? This stage music is amazing by the way have we listened to this um maybe i'll listen to a little bit of it here in a bit i mean you hear it in the background right now the stage is okay like the stage is better than i thought um though i still wish it was a little bit more dynamic i wish there was more stuff going on in the stage it's kind of boring but the music is really good hold on yeah let's li let's listen to the music Yo, I actually really like this theme um, a lot. Um, it's a lot different than like a lot of the other themes on DNF. Uh, it's definitely top three for me. 
this and Zelda Steam are dope. But uh, I think that this DLC is going to be really good. Uh, I hope that people don't doom the game out of existence once again. Like, just enjoy it for what it is. If you want to play Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, that was getting a little toxic in my last video. If you want to play that game, go ahead. Just shut the fuck up about it. If DNF has a DLC come out, just shut up about it. You don't got to say you like this game better or not on my page. You don't have to say it on DNF's page. Just play your game. But that's all I got for this video. Um, if you guys are looking for some matches in DNF, you can hit me up. You can definitely go to the DNF Network Discord. And you can go to the Steam uh, player. I forget what it's called. Player matchups. And the uh, PSN uh, player matchups. I forget what the thing is called. You guys will see it when you get in there. You can find people on there. You can talk about the game, etc., etc., so on and so forth. If you need a link, let me know. Um, that's it for this video. Catch you later.